G'day guys, how are we going? Well, this week's question for Batesy's Q&A comes from Graham. Now, Graham has asked, he's got a 200 series Land Cruiser and he's in need for a roof rack for it and he's tossing up between either steel or an alloy rack. What are your thoughts? Well, apart from the obvious reasons why I'd go with alloy over steel is purely the weight difference, but I'm sure there's plenty of other advantages with both of those racks. So, I thought we'll come over here at Trades and Roof Racks, we'll have a chat with Josh and we'll get him to explain the differences between those two racks and hopefully by the end of it mate you'll decide which roof rack best suits your vehicle. So let's go have a chat with Josh. There he is, how you going? Josh, yeah, him and I have yeah, things here. Good yeah, I'm going alright, what brings you here? Um, actually I got this question that came through for Bates' Q&A and I thought you'd just be the man to actually answer it in a bit more detail. But this guy named Grain, he's got a 200 series Land Cruiser Yep. He's looking at a couple of roof rack options for his, for his vehicle between alloy and steel. He's asked my thoughts. Well, I've given him sort of the obvious reason why you go alloy over steel purely the weight difference. But I reckon you might be able to add a bit more information between those two racks to help him out and make a bit more of an informed decision. Right, mate. Yeah, I reckon we can. Um, we'll go outside. I'll get, yep. some, I'll get the boys to get a few racks out and yep. we'll go actually over the differences on the racks. So right. it's a bit easier there. Yeah. Sounds right. good. Let's go cool. have a look. Okay, Josh, so we've got the two roof racks outside here now. We've got the steel one here and the aluminium one over this side, which we'll talk about that one in a minute. But just on the weight difference, what are we roughly looking at between the two racks? Roughly 20 kilos, or about 40%. So this one weighs, for this size, with this setup, would be about 45 kilos. This one's about 23, 24. So there is a fair difference when yeah. you talk about the two, two racks, yeah. It's probably the main reason someone would go with an alloy is the weight. So if you had a vehicle that's really close to its gross vehicle mass and you're really trying to save every single kilo you can, that's when the alloy is a great option. Yeah. Yeah. So apart from that, what the main difference, what sort of people would be looking then at a steel roof rack over the alloy when you talk about weight difference? That's when we'd be kind of looking at what you're doing with the rack. So um, are you a tradie or you're taking heavy loads or yep. you're going to be whacking it around like dropping things on it or you yep. want to walk on it? Um, that's when a steel really comes into its own because it tends to take the harder hits a lot yeah, better right. than aluminium. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so maybe traders should look at that as opposed to yes. maybe the alloy side of it. And maybe some industrial work might even look at that sort of option. Yeah, or even if you're recreational and you want to carry a big tinny for instance. Yep. You're going to drop a big 70 kilo tinny on it, we'll yep. tell you to go steel every steel other the way. way. Yep. Yeah, right. Well, there's some certainly good points there as far as the steel rack goes. Let's say we jump over here, let's have a chat with the alloy yep. and see what's going on with this one. Yep. So, okay, so we're now over here at the alloy roof rack. What would be sort of people that maybe look at an alloy one, again, over probably with the steel rack? Anybody who's really tight for weight. Yeah. So you take like your 200 series, for example, they have a 500 kilo carrying capacity. Yeah, right. So you're really tight for that weight for your GVM. Yeah. Alloy is your best option. Best option. Um, the other sort of buyer that often goes for alloy is someone who lives right on the coast. Yeah. Although our steel has all the protection it needs with the zinc plating. Yep. Some people say, no, I just don't want any problems. Alloy's my go because oh, yeah. I'm on the salt water. Yep. Well, I, I've been using the alloy one for quite some time with all my camping trips and loading plenty of firewood up there and my swag and that sort of thing. Absolutely great roof rack for what I use it for. So, you know, it just depends on what your application is to which way you go with steel versus alloy. Exactly right. We would have one of the strongest alloy racks on the market as it's fully fabricated yep. rather than assembled. Yep. However, it just depends what you're doing. What you're doing. Yeah. Well, there you go, Graham. I hope that's answered your question out, mate, on helping you get the right roof rack for your 200 series. And fair chance, keep those questions rolled in, and I'll see you guys out in the bush someday.